Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So you all, I promised when I got to a thousand subscribers, I was gonna do my fragrance collection video, and finally, here it is. This is my only my celebrity fragrances. These are all the celebrity fragrances in my collection. And this is going to be pretty fast because I do not have a lot of celebrity fragrances. And then I will divide the rest of them up and you will see them pop up soon and you'll see my whole collection. So I'm going to start with... Well, these are right by me, so let's go with this. I have Beyonce Heat Orchid. This is newer to my collection. To me, this is a... Coconutty, fresh, but a little warm, musky fragrance. I really like it. I heard a lot about it. And so I decided to grab it because it was really affordable. So the other fragrance I have from Beyonce line is Beyonce Heat. Y'all can't remember what this one is. I'm looking down here. I want to say Shimmer. I can't remember. I got this over the summer. This was gifted to me. This is just like a fresh, nice scent. And I'm not gonna talk too much about these because I believe I've done previous videos on most of these. And even though I don't have a lot, I really don't want this to be too long. So next we're going to talk about the fragrances I have from Britney Spears. And I only have three. So this one is Fantasy, I believe in Bloom, yes. Britney Spears Fantasy in Bloom. I got it about almost two years ago. I was watching Rhonda Larise and she said, oh, this is so pretty, it's perfect for spring. So I grabbed it, it was not expensive. And it is, it's a very cherry blossom fragrance. This is not one I would repurchase. Um, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it is pleasant. More of a body fragrance mist to me than a perfume. And this is a, yeah, this is an EDT. So yeah, this is one you have to spray a lot and I would spray it like a fragrance mist. This one I've talked about, I don't know how many times, and this is Britney Spears Private Show. Love this. Oh, I just love it. It's sweet, it's creamy got that uh, all this is how I will continue to describe this think of you I love caramel frappuccinos from Starbucks think about when you get your caramel frappuccino you have your whipped cream and then that caramel drizzled on top and then you sniff it this is what this smells like with some berries with a little fruitiness who I love it and that is Britney Spears private show and this one I just got in a haul video. You'll see that before you see my fragrance collection. And this is Britney Spears private show, no, VIP private show. I haven't worn this one yet. Where this is cappuccino, sweet, caramel. This to me is candy light but grown up candy, like flirty candy, sexy candy. Yes, I haven't done much research into this one yet. I don't know the notes, but I am glad I have it. And I kind of wish I had gotten the big bottle because I, I am loving this line from Britney Spears. I really am. Because I thought I was done with Britney until I gave Private Show uh, a try. And now, yes, I'm all about the Private Show line. So I only have three more celebrity houses. So let's go with Sofia Vergara. I have Sofia by Sofia Vergara. I've done, uh, I think a couple videos on this. Oh, this is a nice, sophisticated, warmer, kind of like fruitier 
more depth version of Coco Mademoiselle. That's the best way I can describe it. It reminds me of Coco Mademoiselle from the first time I smelled it, but it is different. It is not a dupe. And at first I was like, oh, this is okay. I'm not in love, but I've, as you can see, I've put a little dent in this for the fall season and I have fallen in love with this. I really, really like it. So the next one and the last one I have from Sofia Vergaro is Love by Sofia Vergaro. This one is compared to Black Opium, which I can see, but to me it's lighter, um, fruitier than Black Opium. Very nice. These two, I would say, are great. If you want to, because most people say, oh, celebrity scents aren't good. Oh, they smell cheap. These to me smell sophisticated. They're very well blended. I really enjoy these two. Like for people who say I don't like celebrity fragrances, I think they would enjoy those two. Okay, I have, let's do these two next from Jessica. No, I have this one too. I forgot. Let me put that up there so I don't forget it. From Jessica Simpson, I have Fancy Girl. And I was watching someone do, uh, they were talking about a haul and this video, this fragrance, how somebody chased them down in Marshalls or something. And I just had to get it to try it because I hadn't had a Jessica Simpson fragrance in a long time. This is a powdery kind of tangy vanilla fragrance. Um, I don't love it, but I don't dislike it enough. I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. But for me, I have to wear things sometimes multiple times. That's why I am very slow to get rid of anything in my collection because I'll get into that in another video. But this one is not a love, but I don't think I've given it enough I haven't worn it enough, but it is a nice fragrance and I do like it. Now this one, Jessica Simpson's Fancy. I went through an entire bottle of this. I think when Jessica Simpson first came out with this, I was a teenager. Yeah, I was a teenager. And then she'd come out with that uh, fragrance line that was like whipped icing and all of that. Now I, wore this went through the entire entire <laughs> entire bottle of this then at 3.4 ounces and i liked it and i received compliments and people liked it on me but it was it was heavier to me it was too sweet because i wasn't it took me a, a, a while to become a lover of sweet fragrances really thick sweet fragrances now this version, I had heard so much about it. I said, you know, I'm gonna give it a try because I was like, I'm done. I'm not getting it. I went through a whole bottle. I don't want it. Smelled the fragrance mist in TJ Maxx, and I was like, whoo, whoo, whoo! I need it. Some people, oh, I can't remember her name, but she was like, this has been reformulated and it's not as good. So when I first got it, like I said, it was thicker, heavier to me sweeter this is sweet but light and i i love this reformulated version because i like the other one but it was just too much for me and this one i absolutely love it's caramel with some floral aspects very very pretty feminine sweet fragrance i think it's a crowd pleaser and everyone would love it Fancy by Jessica Simpson. Okay, so I forgot about this one. This is Justin Bieber, The Key. And I hauled this, I think a blind buy haul. <laughs> and I was like, this is what people been raving about. It was okay. I would smell this in a minute. And I can't remember what I said then. This to me smells like... It's very clean, it's musky. It reminds me of like hairspray. Just, let me spray this one because I don't know. 
Like I plan to wear it more because I haven't given it a fair try because I was using that fragrances and then enjoying some new ones I got because I got a lot of new fragrances in 2020. It's kind of fresh shower and I think I'm, I'm smelling something else I sprayed. Musky, clean fragrance, like a hint. I don't know, for some reason I'm getting like a hint of berry and that's making me think I'm smelling something else. I don't remember. But yeah, I'm getting a hint of that. Soft, nice fragrance. So I'm gonna give it a wear come spring around that time and then we'll see it might turn into a love who knows because that happens quite a lot with me and last but i forgot one but y'all it's it was a little travel spray so i was just going to show you my full bottle collection so i'll show you i'll mention that one so these are my ariana grande fragrances i am not going to talk about these or describe I'm gonna be short sweet and succinct because I have I think a couple videos on these so this is Ariana Grande's Ari cute bottle fits the fragrance floral marshmallow sweetness it kind of puts me in the mind of fancy but lighter yeah lighter yeah cuz fancy has a little depth but this is lighter and brighter. This is Moonlight. Every time I say that, I wanna go, in the moonlight. This is a plum, sweet marshmallow fragrance. Oh, so pretty. Moonlight. Sweet Like Candy, I really haven't worn this one too much because I bought it to complete the, the fragrance line of the not limited edition ones to do the my review video on Ariana Grande's fragrances, which I will have above in the cards. And this, I can't get a good read on it because I haven't sprayed it in a minute. Yeah. Think of pink sugar, Aqualina's pink sugar, but who it got in my mouth. <clears throat> but think softer, fruitier, and not that kind of people say the burnt sugar that I really don't get when I wear it, but some people say that's what I would say. This is light and sweet like candy. Kind of like cotton candy, soft cotton candy. Okay, then we have the most talked about fragrance of her entire collection is Cloud. This is a, some people say it's so sweet. It is just not su that sweet to me. It's airy, like you're floating. It's a very airy fragrance. To me, if you get that coconut, the woodiness, you get that whipped cream sweetness. Yeah, but it's not what I would say sweet, sweet. It's just not. It's a fresh sweetness. Think how, you see how this bottle looks, and it's not an aquatic scent, but I do kind of get that right now when I'm smelling it. And you know when you smell fragrances, you can get something new. All, you know, you don't smell it every single day. You can get, pick out new things all the time. And for some reason, when I'm smelling it now, I'm getting that, I wish I could think of the word I want. It starts with an E, but I can't remember how to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> but it does give me that cloudy, airy, kind of aquatic, not watery. Maybe that's the, the word I'm looking for. But I love it. It's good. Ariana Grande's Cloud. Last fragrance in my collection of celebrity scents. This is Ariana Grande's REM. This is the newest fragrance in her collection. When I'm smelling this now, I really get the lavender. I get the woody aspect. Think of, I get that fig. Think of a sweet lavender fig 
fluffy fig fragrance. That's what I'm getting when I smell it now. I know some people say this is unisex, which I guess anything could be unisex because you can wear what you want to wear. For me, this leans feminine to me, um, but it is nice. I put a little bit of a dent in it. So if you want to hear more in depth reviews on the, the especially this Ariana Grande fragrances, like I said, uh, I've done a complete video and I will have it in the cards. So y'all, that is part one of my fragrance collection. These are all of my celebrity sets. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15 full bottle. And then from the Ariana, Ariana Grande line, I do have Thank You Next and a little travel spray. And if I remember correctly, you know, I'm not gonna even try to remember because I, I don't have it in here to smell. Like I said, watch that video where I did the whole review of all of the all of the Ariana Grande fragrances that were not limited edition. So if you enjoy this video and are looking forward to seeing the rest of my collection, give this video a big thumbs up and click that like button. Leave me a comment below. Have, do you have any of these celebrity fragrances in your collection or recommend some celebrity fragrances you think I'm missing out on? Because if it smells good, it smells good. You know, I don't care if it's $5 to, well, I'm not paying 500, but you know, I don't care how inexpensive or if it's celebrity, if it smells good and I like it, I will wear it, okay? Please share this video with anyone who you think will enjoy it. We are almost to 2,000 subscribers. I would love to reach 2,000 subscribers by 2021, January 1st. So help a girl out and share the video. Please turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.